Hello, um, welcome to the channel. And I know it has been a long time since I made a video. Um, we just got through the holiday season. We had a really, really busy holiday. We had family come in town from Hawaii, California, North Carolina, um, and everybody was here for the holidays, which was great. Um, but now it's time to get back to a routine, get back to a schedule. Uh, the kids are back in school. So time to get back to um, just the normal day-to-day -day activities and um, the schedule of our life. Uh, I don't know about your family, but we have been battling sicknesses over here. Um, it's cold and flu season. So today I am going to be making some blueberry scones. And then um, later on, I'm going to be making a healthy chicken, um, chicken and rice soup. And I've also been kind of focusing for the month of January on doing more shelf cooking uh, where I am using things that we have here in the house. So we're going to raid the pantry and see what we got to make this healthy soup. Uh, I think it's what my family needs after the hustle and the bustle of the holiday season and fighting off these colds. So uh, thank you for joining and can't wait to share all this with you. Start with the blueberry sourdough scones. I'm very excited for this recipe. I think it's going to go great with my morning coffee. I'm off work for the weekend, so looking forward to some nice, slow, quiet mornings. Um, but anyway, so for this recipe, it starts with uh, dry ingredients and also wet ingredients, but we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So we're going to use uh, two cups of flour. And then we're going to do uh, one and we're going to do a half a cup of sugar, granulated sugar. And then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of fine salt. I'm just going to kind of eyeball here. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use two teaspoons of baking powder. I don't know about you, but I'm a breakfast food person. Um, I love breakfast food, especially anything that goes well with coffee. So I'm looking forward to this recipe. Um, and now we're going to do the hard part. We have to take two, one whole stick of unsalted butter. And we're gonna use this cheese grater and we are going to grate um, this butter in. And it needs to be unsalted. So, and it needs to be cold. Um, that way you can grate it easily. I'm gonna peel the paper off here. Okay. I'm going to do this whole stick of butter. Family also um, loves the chocolate chip scone recipe, um, but today I figured we all need a little bit of immune boost since everybody's been battling sicknesses. So we're going to add some fresh blueberries for some antioxidants. You can see we're about halfway down with the butter, so we're going to keep going. We're almost there. Just got to watch your fingers as you get to this last part. I want to grate your fingers. So I'm being extra careful here. Get down to that last little bit. This butter looks amazing, nice and fluffy up here. And now we're going to take our hands and we are going to mix this in. I love baking with my hands. There's just something so um, special about it. And knowing that I'm making my food at home for my family, also just, um, it's very special to me. And I love, um, just baking, it's relaxing. Okay, and then we got that all mixed in. We're gonna grab our blueberries here. These have already been washed. Um, we're gonna add the blueberries. 
I'm just gonna do oh, about a cup, which is for me usually about two handfuls of blueberries. And I'm gonna add a little extra. And again, we're gonna just mix that in. Wet ingredients. Um, we are going to add a half a cup of the sourdough discard. I fed this yesterday. Um, so you can see it's still a little bit bubbly. Um, I was gonna make bread with it, but just kind of ran out of time. So we're gonna use half a cup of that. That's a very sticky sourdough starter. Okay, and now we're gonna add one large egg. Gotta show you how beautiful our eggs are from our chickens right now. Um, we've got some ones that are laying some green eggs. I don't know how many blue ones in here, but um, got a nice assortment of eggs right now. And then we're gonna add some vanilla extract. I made some of my own vanilla extract, um, but it's not quite ready yet. I need to sit a little bit longer, so. We're just going to use some store-bought vanilla extract. We're using two teaspoons. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream. You could also use half and half if you wanted to. We're going to whisk that all together. that to the dry ingredients here. My husband always laughs. He says that I am the messiest cook ever, which I'm not gonna argue. I mean, I'm a little bit messy when I cook. You want it to be a little bit dry. Um, you don't want it too wet because you want to be able to form this into nice little wedges. So we want it a little bit shaggy. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to my stand mixer and just mix it a little bit. Berries add a good amount of moisture into it. Um, Plus this also helps kind of break them up a little bit. Just gonna get all of that off my mixer here. Smells amazing. Okay, now I'm going to uh, flour the surface here a little bit. And we're going to take that dough. Form it into a nice uh, disc shape. You can see there's a lot of blueberries. It's a beautiful color. Looks so nice and fresh. I don't think it really matters how thick you make it, um, as long as you get a little disc shape. Take some parchment paper and a baking sheet here and then we're going to use a um, bench cutter and we're just going to slice this into some sections we're going to put that on here nice 
Okay, so here you can see we have the beautiful scones. Uh, what a beautiful purpley blue color they are. And we're gonna put them in the refrigerator to chill for about 20 minutes. And then in the meantime, we're gonna set the oven to 400 degrees and let that preheat. And we will bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then afterwards, we are going to make the amazing icing that's going to go on top. So I don't know what happened with the audio on this part of the video, but anyways, I'm taking three tablespoons of heavy cream and then I'll be taking three tablespoons of um, sugar and I'm going to mix that together to kind of make a um, syrup um, glaze to go on top of the scones. So now we're going to take the glaze and just drizzle it on top of the scones. And um, again, these scones are fresh out of the refrigerator, so they're nicely chilled. And just kind of sprinkle it on top to give it that nice little extra sweetness and little crispiness on top. Then we're going to take the uh, scones, put them in the oven, and we are going to bake them for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the chicken soup. Um, I am just starting by peeling some carrots. I'm gonna use about two whole carrots um, and chop them up and saute them um, with some celery in uh, the Dutch oven. Okay, here I am just uh, chopping up the carrots to put them in the uh, stock pot. And I don't know about you, but carrots are one of my favorite part of chicken noodle soup. Um, and I love how nutritious they are. They have so many uh, benefits to them. So it is definitely a staple in my chicken soup. Okay, so now I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I'm going to add the chopped carrots and celery and just saute them until they soften a little bit. Okay, while those are sauteing, I'm going to chop up the onion into little diced pieces and then um, add that to the stock pot and then saute that um, as well. Okay, so you can see that sauteing pretty well and the veggies are starting to soften. So now I'm going to take some garlic and um, press two or three garlic cloves in here, just depending on what your family likes. Um, we like a lot of garlic, plus there's a lot of health benefits to garlic. So we're gonna add that in there. Just wanna be careful not to burn the garlic because it does get a pretty bitter taste when you burn it. Okay, so next I'm going to be adding chicken broth. This is some chicken broth that we had um, stored up from a um, chicken that we had butchered and I used the carcass to make our own broth. So that's about uh, four cups in there. And then I did not have enough um, leftovers, so I did have to use some store-bought um, chicken broth. And in total, it was about um, six cups of broth. Okay, next I'm going to be adding some dried oregano um, into the pot. And um, oregano also is very good, um, especially for healing. And then I'm also going to add um, some dried basil as well. Uh, some paprika. Just a little bit. I like the flavor of paprika. It gives it a nice little flavor. And then I'm also going to add a couple bay leaves here.
Okay, ready to give that a nice little stir. Let that kind of heat up a little bit, and then we'll add um, the chicken, and I'm gonna have to decide what kind of um, pasta I'm gonna use, because I need to look at our pantry and see what we've got. So, okay, so our scones are done, and look how yummy those look. Uh, you can see how kind of like the sugar and the um, heavy whipped cream kind of made like a caramelized glaze. So I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit and then give them a taste test. Okay, so now that we got all of our spices in, we are going to add um, some salt and pepper. Um, I tend to go a little light on the salt and pepper just because my husband uh, doesn't love a ton of salt in his meals. So um, we can always add more later to our own individual preference. But I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit for a little seasoning here. Okay, and I'm gonna take you and show you how amazing this broth looks. Look how dark and rich that broth looks. That is going to be amazing. Um, I'm gonna use some rotisserie chicken that I had shredded um, the other day that we used to make quesadillas. So I'm gonna wait to put the chicken in um, just till a little bit later because I don't wanna dry it out. Okay, so like I said, we are shelf cooking and I am just using stuff that we have in the pantry. So I found um, this and I guess that'll work. Um, usually you use that for like a wedding soup, but I think it'll taste good in our chicken broth. Um, have a little bit under a cup, hopefully that's enough. Uh, but I did forget to add one thing in here in the recipe and that is some lemon juice. So I am going to go ahead and take a lemon. Lemon juice just really gives some good health properties here. Adds a little bit of flavor, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit of lemon in here. Just add a little bit more of the other one too. I don't wanna make it too lemony, but like I said, we're all starting to get sick, so we need all the vitamin C we can get. All right, so let's give that another little stir here. put the lid on and just let that simmer for a little bit. Okay you guys, here's the taste test of our sourdough scone. Mm. I'm already looking forward to tomorrow morning to have this scone with my coffee. Heat it up in the microwave a little bit, it'll be excellent. So that wraps up this video and I, I forgot to get a video of the soup but my family loved it and it was just so comforting when everybody started to get sick but I will link the recipe for the scones um, below. And I just wanna say thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. Have a great day.